Hey guys, I'm Courtney. Welcome back. Today I'm bringing you the next installment in my capsule makeup collection. This is the holiday collection. I put together a look using all of the products that I mentioned in this collection. So the first thing is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals Palette. The reason that this is a pick for me is that I think it is perfect for the holidays because you have all of these great colors over here that are good for like Thanksgiving and Christmas because you have the beautiful coppers and golds and reds. And then for New Year's, you have all the fun shades. So you have like the silvers, the grays, the purples, the black. Now, if you have hooded eyes like me, you're gonna need to balance out all of these beautiful metallics with some mattes. So what I'm wearing on my eyes is actually the Too Faced Just Peachy palette. Basically, any sort of neutral palette you own is gonna work for that. Um, you could also use the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette as your as like the, uh, the matte shades to balance out all of the shimmer. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance would be great. If you're on a budget, I would look at picking up a few few shades from ColourPop. They're super shock eyeshadows. They, I know they have a lot of beautiful like golds and coppers, and they do have some mattes as well, so you could find like the perfect, like you could basically put together your own kit for like 20 bucks with four shades. So I would definitely consider that as an alternative. You should always have a good liner and mascara in your kit. For me, that would be Kat Von D Trooper Liquid Eyeliner and Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara because these are my favorites. I also think it's great to have a pencil. I like Urban Decay's Perversion pencil. And then for your waterline, whatever you like to use, if you wanna use something eye brightening, I actually just bought a new pencil to try that I haven't even put on yet, but it's Pixie's Extra Eye Brightener, which I will swatch it for you. You've probably seen it. I, like I said, I've never used it before. I just recently bought it, but it's supposed to be nice and eye brightening. You should have something to fill in your brows or tame them. And what I used is ColourPop's Jet Set Black Brow Pencil, which I really like. You could also use something like Glossier's Boy Brow, which is a really like lightweight brow product. So if you are somebody who likes more natural looking brows, these two products will help you achieve them. One thing that's essential to any capsule makeup collection is a good foundation. You should use whatever foundation is best for your skin type. For the purposes of this video, I put on Jouer's Essential High Coverage Foundation in the shade Pearl. This is too dark for me on its own, so I really need to add a white mix mixer, but I didn't wanna do that. But what I do think that you should add to any foundation for the holidays to give yourself a little bit of extra glow is something like NYX Opalescent Pro Foundation Mixer or Urban Decay's Liquid Aura but this mixes in really easily. It gives like a nice extra sheen to the skin without really messing with the texture or finish of the foundation. So you'll have a little bit more glow, but it's still gonna be a matte foundation if it's a matte foundation. My personal favorite foundations right now are Huda Beauty's Faux Filter Foundation in the shade Milkshake and the Eden Minerals North Skin Foundation in the shade Yoren. So when it comes to blush for the holidays, I really have two different colors that I really like. And it really, it really depends on the aesthetic that you like to go for. I wanted a nude blush since I knew that for this look, I would be having metallic eyes and metallic lips. So I put on Tarte Sensual. But if you uh, don't wanna use this color, another sort of nudish blush you might like is Urban Decay's Kinky. Now the other direction that I like to go for holiday blushes is red because it lets you sort of create that, I just came in from the freezing outside. And if you can, just see, you can add like just a, like you can use a very light hand to create that effect with Urban Decay's Quiver. It's really, really pretty for that purpose. So basically a nude blush and a red blush. Um, I'm pretty certain that if you are looking for more budget friendly options that NYX will have a nude and a red. I can't think of the names of those off the top of my head, but I'll be sure to put um, some suggestions in the description box below and I will have everything that's mentioned in this video in the description box below. So typically when it comes to highlight, I wear Makeup Geek Celestial. You know, that's my all time favorite highlight. For this look, because I'm using like all of these golds and copper tones, I went with Urban Decay Sin, which I think is a beautiful white gold type color. If you really wanna be extra, you can absolutely go out and buy yourself a highlighting palette, something like Cover Effects's Perfect Highlight Palette. But really, I think you only need like one highlight. So if you already have your favorite highlight, I would just use that. But if you wanted to go with gold, I would look at Urban Decay Sin. Now for lips for the holidays, I like red glitter and I like gold glitter. So typically for red, red lips, I use one of two pencils. I use Urban Decay's 714, which is a bright red, or I use Urban Decay's Hex Pencil, which is a deep like wine red. I'm wearing the Hex Pencil today. For my bright red lip, for my bright red lipstick, I really love Urban Decay 714, which is a matte. 
But for my deeper red, like deeper shimmery red, I really like Sugar Pill Strange Love. And again, that's what I'm wearing today. Now, because it's the holidays and I feel like you can be extra blingy for the holidays, I went over the top with this lips today and I put on a layer of Kat Von D's Everlasting Glimmer Veil stuff in the shade Dazzle, which is a red glitter. And then I even <laughs> took it further with a little bit of the Kat Von D Thunderstruck, which is like a gold pearl. I put that at the center. So that's why my lips are like nice and illuminated because of this. So I really, really, really love red for the holidays. I love it for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for New Year's. I think it looks great. But if you are somebody who does not like red, you could absolutely do a nude shade. I'm terrible about rec uh, recommending normal nudes to people because I really like nudes like Bite Beauty's Thistle or Urban Decay's Oblivion or Lunatic Cosmetic Lab's Bruja. I like basically these like pinky topes which is not everybody's cup of tea. I know a lot of people really prefer like sort of peachy beiges or, or whatever that works with their skin type. For those of you who do not like liquid lipsticks and you want a deeper red, I would recommend actually using the Urban Decay Color Conspiracy because it's basically like a plum bronze. And when you put it on top of Urban Decay's Hex Pencil, you end up with a very similar color to this, but it might be a more comfortable formula for you. So to come up with some nude suggestions for you, I did quickly search through my lipsticks and I have two suggestions for you. One would be Urban Decay's Fuel, which is sort of like this peachy beige nude right here. And the other one would be Urban Decay's 1993, which is sort of more like a deeper brown one. And you could still probably put the golden glitter on top of that, Kat Von D's Thunderstruck, to make it more exciting. Because I'm sorry, but it's the holidays. I feel like... I feel like exciting is, you know, I feel like having a little bit of glitter is fine at the holidays. Ooh, actually, Fuel, those both look really nice, I think, with, with a little bit of um, Thunderstruck on top, but especially Fuel. I really like that combo. I might actually have to try wearing that. For budget-friendly options, the best budget-friendly red I have ever found is by NYX, and the color is called Lucy, and it is a stunning red. It's like a snow white red. So I highly recommend that. So to make your holiday makeup last and last, you absolutely need a setting spray. I love Urban Decay's All Nighter. As a bonus, this is great for foiling your eyeshadow to make your eyeshadows more blingy. So I think that's it for my holiday makeup capsule collection. Please be sure to let me know what you think of my picks in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, fun, entertaining, or informative, please give it a thumbs up and share. If you haven't already, you should go ahead and click that little subscribe button so you never miss out on a video from me or Phaedra and Nyx. Thanks so much for watching.